Saturday morning. The girls just left to uh, Japanese school and uh, I decided to uh, take it a little bit slow this weekend and just stay home and work on the tricycle. So a few days ago I finished uh, the tricycle but I didn't like how it looked. Uh, plus it didn't seem to safe. So if you can see it's uh, just a basket and then these I can fit by yourself fine But then if I put both of them there, I would have to go here and it doesn't leave too much room for Risa And she ends up hitting right here. So what I decided to do is create a fiberglass uh, Bench and so that's gonna elevate them up to here so they can sit here Both their, both of their backs should be somewhere around here and that gives them room so they don't have to worry about hitting their head on there uh, and I need to cover the wheels up because they're too exposed for my taste. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to make fiberglass things. Uh, and I think I have all the gear that I need. So last night I stayed up to about 3 in the morning working on this design right here. I'm hoping that even though it's not really wide in the middle, that will be enough room for their legs. And then I added some more space here for their arms. So at least they'll be shoulder to shoulder but they're not going to be on top of each other. It's supposed to be something that I can put in bolt on and then if i need to fix it or do anything i can just bolt it off all right so i went to lowe's last night and uh, this is the cardboard that comes at the top and the bottom of the plywood and so uh, they gave it to me for free and they also cut it for me so i got two sheets uh they're all 48 inches uh wide these are uh, four, uh 26 26 22 and 22. Um, I also got some cardboard for the, the round areas over the wheels. I got some fiberglass resin. I got three sheets right there, some gloves, some cups, brushes, some glue. Some, I also got some tape over there that I'm going to keep all the cardboard together with. And uh, sandpaper, some scissors to cut the fiberglass cloth. So taking the SketchUp design, I just kind of hand drew this with the measurements. Uh, these are the 26 by 48 boards. And these are the 22 by 48 and so that's how I'm going to cut them up. I have most of the pieces except the ones that go over the wheel and uh, so yeah, hopefully all that is right and it fits. So this is like the first setup. That's the side walls and the middle. Obviously these are going to stand up but I just taped them now just to hold them in place while uh, I measure everything. So that's where they're going to put their feet on. That's where they're going to sit. I still have a backing that goes right here. There's going to be uh, side walls here and this side. And then I'm going to put some cardboard to cover the, the front. There's going to be a step here. It goes up five inches so they can step onto here where they're going to be standing. And that's where the center of the, uh, uh, what is it called, axle is. So that's where I want most of their weight, even though they're going to sit on here. If they sit here, this, they're going to be too close to the seat. This is the side. So this is going to be basically like the uh, outside of the tire. Um, I decided to make, put holes in it uh, and leave that these uh, cardboard pieces right there, that cross, uh, as a little bit of support. Um, if I left the whole cardboard in there, it would have been hard to get the um, to get the fiberglass inside. So uh, I don't like how it looks, so I might cut them. But for right now, I'm going to leave them just in case. Uh, and then I took those pieces that go in there, those wedges, uh, these right here, and then I'm going to use them for this piece right here because this is a wild card right here. This is the one where uh, you can't really, you don't really know what the length is until you actually set it. Um, so to get a more accurate uh, measurement, I had to cut it. And then now I, with those wedges, I made one of these. So now it should go in here like that and that's gonna create a step for them to go in. I had to take a break because standing up that long made my right foot swollen. So right now it's huge, but the left foot actually hurts more because most of the weight stays on the left side. So now my ankle is really sore and then the bottom has a bunch of hot spots. So I had to take a break. And it doesn't help the last night, I found out I still had some uh, stitches inside of the uh, one of the one of the wounds uh, so that's why I was taking forever to heal it's been uh, a month since surgery and uh, and it still looks pretty crappy you can see these holes right here is where I found the stitches and there was two in here and it's actually one right there at that bubble and the other one's right that was right there and that's what made it uh, take forever to heal so hopefully it'll heal now 
I think there's still another one right there, but I can't get it out. So uh, supposedly the body's supposed to uh, take it out later. All right, guys. So this is how it looks like so far. I got most of the uh, parts in. Uh, I cocked all the corners. I put the seat in there, cocked it, and uh, I need to cover this. And for this, I'm gonna use uh, some cardboard. So, because it's flexible, and then once I put the resin in, it's gonna make it hard. I'm not worried about if it's gonna be uh, tough or not. And then above the cardboard goes the resin, and above the resin goes the uh, fiberglass. So, it should be pretty sturdy. One thing I did forget to mention is. The only way I can get these uh, cardboard pieces to come together, I had to glue it because uh, tape wasn't working. I wanted to kind of like tape it all up before I finalized it, but it wasn't sticking together. So I decided just to glue it and I uh, hope that uh, all the measurements were right. And so far it's coming out okay. Hey guys, I just accidentally discovered that I could put weight on my right foot. Uh, there's no flexibility, so I kind of still got to walk like a, like a penguin, uh, but there's no pain. Like before I tried to put some weight on there and I immediately felt like it wasn't going to work. Uh, but this time it feels pretty good. So here it is fully assembled. I just uh, sanded all the corners, uh, all the edges and uh, trying to get it all nice and cleaned up so that I can put the resin. So I'm going to take a quick break and then I'm going to come back and put the resin in. Uh, since I already finished all the measurements and everything, I took the bike outside so I can get some extra room and finish this puppy up. So yeah, it's not too bad. It's really light too. It's all cardboard. Uh, it'll get heavier with the resin and uh, fiber, fiberglass, but not too much more. Hey guys, so it's Sunday afternoon. I'm taking a break from uh, building that thing to eat some food. Uh, Mego and the girls went to a birthday party. My foot is kind of swollen, so I don't really want to leave the house too much because I don't feel like going to the car and all that. So. Um, so this is, the, I think, the first time that I cook since we moved. Uh, in fact, even before we left the house, I didn't really cook uh, that much. So all I'm doing is uh, some leftover yakiniku meat. Uh, before it goes bad, I decided to cook it. Even if I don't finish the whole thing, at least uh, it won't go bad uh, for at least a couple more days after it's cooked. Um, it was taking forever to cook. Like, it just wasn't heating up. So I thought maybe this, uh, this skillet that we had was just crappy. Uh, but it turns out that... Uh, I had it on this medium power reheat simmer, uh, and only I, only now I just realized that there's a high power and a medium power. So now it looks like it's picking up a little bit better, uh, the heat wise. So I'm gonna cook that. Probably th throw an avocado and some onions on there, and then that's it. Uh, I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm just gonna relax after I cook this. Number one, I'm gonna do some. Number two, as of right now, I'm terrible. On y'all's part, we're coming along, okay? But I think because he was wrong. Hey guys, it's 8 p.m. on uh, Monday and we're eating Uber Eats. It's uh, Phuket Thai, Thai food. It was our first experience with Uber Eats. It was okay. Initially, it was supposed to take 45 minutes and then it ended up taking like an hour and something. But I guess you can't really complain. We're just sitting in the house doing nothing. Pretty convenient, but it's definitely too expensive to do it uh, too often. I was planning on cooking tonight, but uh, I started cleaning the outside kitchen that we have and uh, I just got worn out. My foot started feeling sore and then I just wanted to lay down. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll start cooking. Hey guys, so I just finished adding the first coat of resin to, uh, to the seat. And uh, remember, no. I'm, uh, first, I'm gonna do the resin, and then I'm gonna do the fiberglass with uh, a couple of extra uh, layers of resin. Um, for the most part, it came out okay. I think I did too much uh, mixture. I had about 12 ounces, and by the time I got halfway through the bottle, it was already uh, caked up. It was all together, so I had to dump that, and then I still made another 12 ounces. I wasn't thinking. So from this point, on, I think I'm just gonna make six ounces, and hopefully, that's. Um, that's not gonna that's gonna give me enough time to use it all up before it starts getting all thick and, and nasty. Alright, so it pretty much looks the same. Uh, just besides being uh, looking wet. Uh, but it looks good. There's a couple spots where it was getting hard already and so there's like uh, chunks of resin. But yeah, that's how it looks for now. Hey guys, so this is how my luck's going today. So uh yeah, it's a 
tough morning so far. Hey guys, it is Tuesday evening. We're gonna we are at Denny's. Okay. She wants to be in the shot too. So we're at Denny's. We're gonna eat some uh, dinner here, and uh, I, I just ordered a skillet with no potatoes, replaced with broccoli, and uh, we're just gonna hang out. Take this out. <laughs> she put it <laughs> Crazy people. Thank you for watching guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also gonna put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.